That brings us to Mississippi Valley State head coach Carl Morgan. It's Coach Morgan on the call. Yes, I am. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Uh, uh, tough loss for you guys uh, in Huntsville. If you could just kind of summarize that game uh, a little bit and then talk about Jackson State coming to town, a big interstate rivalry, and, and we'll open it up for questions after that. Uh, went up to Huntsville, and we talked about starting fast. Uh, it was their homecoming game, and I thought we had played uh, better the last couple of weeks, and we wanted to continue that. And uh, the first two drives of the game, they kick off to us, and we throw a lateral that is batted down, batted back. They kick it up and run in for a touchdown. Come back, we do another lateral. Uh, it was consecutive plays, and uh, the guy, uh, receiver, ball hit him in the hands, and he dropped it. Then they picked it up and had the ball again. But I think the tail of uh, one of the things that hurt us was third down. You know, we we kind of we kind of slowed them down a little bit, and we got them get them in third down. And uh, the quarterback made us several runs on third down uh, in the first quarter. That if we if we get him, you know, uh, we we have him kicking field goals or, or punting the ball back to us. And we made some crucial uh, uh, non plays on third down. And so uh, then the game, you know, it, it was 35, uh, 35 nothing. Then they get a safety and made it 37 nothing. Then we finally get a touchdown in four half. And uh, I think the positive, you know, and when you owe when you owe whatever, owing owing sixteen for your career, owing owing six for the year, you try to find positive deals. And the thing that was positive that we didn't just cave, to, you know, pull the tenth down and go. Uh, came back, scored again in the second half, and, and shut them out in the second half. And so uh, that was, you know, that's what we talked about at halftime. You know, we can't do anything but the first half. Let's go out and see if we can win the second half. You know, and, and, and get something built for. Uh, if we can climb back into the game, if we can. If we can't, let's build something for next week. And so that was that was the uh, thought process, and I thought they they did that, which was which was admirable. Uh, Jackson State coming in is is, is probably uh, the best team in the league that I've seen on film or on on, on TV. Uh, defensively, uh, very impressive. Uh, the two big tackles inside playing real well, play hard for them. Uh, and uh, the two ends are, are doing an outstanding job. They play man coverage all the time. And so uh, they are very, very um, impressive on defense. Offensively, I, I say the same thing. Uh, the quarterback's playing well. Uh, they got some running backs that can run if they want to run. And uh, a real good football team. And uh, I voted for them this uh, this morning, really this morning, in the poll, they're in the top 25 uh, FCS poll. Uh, good football team. We'll open it up for questions for head coach Morgan from Mississippi Valley. Hey, Carl, it's Ross. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Uh, tell me about the situation with your your, uh, your visitor stands. I know that they've been renovated. Uh, how many do they seat? And uh, when Southern came to town, did they did they fill it up? No, Southern, Southern didn't bring a whole bunch of people. Uh, hopefully Jackson State will. Uh, I think I think the capacity is still about uh, uh, twelve or thirteen thousand, but it, it's it's probably about six or seven thousand people that can sit on 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 the uh, renovated side. It's real nice, and so hopefully Jackson will bring a lot of people. <laughs>
uh, just in case you want to expand the skybox. So, uh, so that's the second phase, and, and, and that uh, I think that's two point two point seven million dollars need to be raised to complete the second phase to get the, the, the outer skin and the canopy and the, uh, and, uh, the elevator and, 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 and uh, the, the other cells and whistles you want to have. But right now it's function it, it, it's, it's functional and and, and uh, it's a good deal for us. Shout out, uh, and you mentioned that. Who are the guys that stepped up, and, and do, you, do you use that as positive momentum building into this week? Oh, I, I, I think it is. You know, we haven't held anybody in a half scoreless, regardless if they had 27 points, and you can say, well, they, they basically uh, backed it in. They got their points, and they were going to win. But uh, it was still like, encouraging to see us go out there, fight, chase the ball, play hard. I think. Um, I think uh, Marcus Thompson uh, flew around a little bit, made some plays, the line back and forth, uh, got some guys on the defensive line, uh, did a good job. They actually, you know, they had 100 and, oh, I think 102 yards total rushing. And going into the game, we thought that was going to be the, uh, the the route they were going to attack us. And uh, so that 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 was comforting. They wanted the 39 passing. So, um, but to the quarterback scramble, it's the thing that hurt us early on in the game. I think if we'd, have, if, we'd have, if we'd have tackled him and, 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 and forced him to kick the ball on fourth down, uh, that would have helped our cause. And Paul Cox, another big game, another hundred yard receiving game. Uh, you know, we, I guess we talk about it every week, but certainly he has emerged himself as as one of the best receivers in this league. I think Paul is doing a great job, and we got we uh, we talked about it this morning. We've got to find ways to get him the ball. Because he has good ball skills, he throw it up. He has, you know, there's always a chance that he'll come down with it. So we've got to do a better job of getting the ball to him and uh, and, and, and featuring Paul Cox uh, these last five games of the year. And he was able to uh, kind of uh, spurn the the Jackson State defense last year a couple times. He, he did. He did uh, early on in the game. And like I said, we, we, we've got to we, we've got to be creative. And uh, and hopefully the, the, the number one thing we got to be able to protect. I said we talked about that this morning because uh, I said I, I'm impressed with the two inside guys. Uh, Joseph LeBeau, we actually I actually went down to Arkansas Baptist and personally picked up Joseph LeBeau on a recruiting visit. He came to the Valley, uh, liked Valley, committed to Valley, and then next thing I know he's going to, he's going to Jackson State. So uh, we thought we had him. He was a good football player. Could definitely help our program. Uh, they came in after after we had uh, got him up here, and, and, and they, you know, and, and, and so that was disappointing to us because we knew that uh, he was a good football player. Well, you're going to see it probably an entirely different kind of offensive attack than you saw with Alabama and M. Uh, you know, a pass-oriented uh, squad at Jackson State. How do you slow down Casey Terry? Uh, I don't know. Last year we tried to play a man. Uh, we tried to cover uh, with man coverage, and uh, uh, that didn't stop. Uh, I, I, I don't know what you do. Like I said, uh, they do a real good job, and uh, they have some good receivers. The tight end, uh, Richie Rollins, is a good ball player. So um, you know, we've we got to think of something to, to at least slow them down. And uh, like I said, I, I think that's the best football team in the conference. And we we played Alabama State the first week of the season, and what I see on film, I I, I think they're 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 above Alabama State. It's just my personal opinion. And finally, coach, you, you know you, you you talk about the losing streak, and, and you you got you know some games where you, you had a lead in the fourth quarter, and and you. But then you go out and you, and you end up down big in the first half. How, how do the guys respond from that? And uh, and how do you keep, again, the, the, the ball rolling forward? Uh, you know, you know we, we'll talk to them this afternoon at 3 o'clock and, and tell them this is a game here that I, I think it's been 17 years since uh, Mississippi Valley has beaten Jackson State. And so I think that a win in this game here would, would, would do uh, wonders for the psyche of the team, the university, 
uh, everybody in the Delta area. And so that's 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 the uh, selling point. You know, regardless of what has happened, you know, we still got a chance here to play a, a top 25 team coming in here, a uh, real good football team. And uh, if we can bring our A game, have some luck, and uh, hopefully upset them.